It is Monday, May 10th. I'm at the dentist. I'm about to get surgery. They're going to put the metal screw into my implant in my gums. But in order to do that, they have to open it. So they're going to open my gums. I'll report back on how I feel later. Uh, they numb me up. And they're about to pretty much open my mouth up. So let's go. Your money, man. Like those so I'm hopeful. Yes, I am. Hopeful for today. Take this music and use it. Let it take you. Hey, yo, mom, how's the food? It's bussin'. Shit. It is Tuesday, May 11th, and uh, it's about like 2:30. Um, I'm cooking my meal for the week. This is uh, Vietnamese spinach. Um, there's a similar species that Filipino grow. We call it alugbate. Um, fortunately, you can actually cook this stuff, and it's pretty close to the recipe that my family cooks. I just uh, washed this first batch, and of course I'm going to cook it. Some uh, ground beef, garlic, if I could find some onions, that'd be nice too. Bruh, 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 bruh. Oh, itty bitty tomato, so small. Wow, oh, so small. You know what else so small? My dishes. It is May 13, I think. My mistake, it's May 12. Shut up! <laughs> Stop, I'm pooping! Wednesday, May 13. I just reported to work. This is actually the end of my day. Um, I have this Jameis Comet uh, tri bike. It was a customer's who dropped it off. And uh, I'm going to be refurbishing it as best as I can. Today I chewed the wheels and cleaned the cassette, as you saw. But other than that, um, the wheels were really hard to chew. It, it was a disaster today, but they're in great condition. So, cool with me. Say it, Lamp. <laughs> it is Wednesday, May 13, or Thursday, May 13. I'm at the shop, um, and I've been working on several different things today. I'll take a look at uh, what we've been doing. So, the Santa Cruz Bronson came in for a derailleur adjustment. I already did it. And uh, the concern was that the uh, derailleur hanger was bent and then um, the derailleur itself had some broken washers and stuff, but we installed a new one that the guy provided us. So it was pretty easy and seamless. We had like a Trek Remedy 9.7, but it's not here anymore because they already released it to customers. But this is the one I'm on right now. I'm about to take a break. Um, just clean it up a tiny bit, but uh, I used to do the cables and stuff on it. Suck. Hey guys, it's May 15, Saturday. I'm going to show you how to change your oil on your 2003 to 2008 Pontiac Vibe, Toyota Matrix or Toyota Corolla and let the oil flow out just like that. Make sure of course that your drain pan is right below it because you don't want this stuff spilling on your driveway. I'm just going to put the old oil into here but you do need to bring this to your local auto parts store. They do recycle this stuff. You don't want to just dump it into your garden or your plants. It's bad for the environment. All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to replace your transmission fluid in a 2003 to 2008 Pontiac Vibe Toyota Matrix and Toyota Corolla. And wow, you know what? That's really not good. I'm not sure you can see this, but the fluid is nice and swirly. That's probably like the brass and the steel that's inside of my transmission. And you don't want that rubbing against all of your transmission components, which is why I shortened the interval to 10,000 miles for my transmission. I'm actually glad I changed this out by now. But yeah, it's filled with royal purple. Uh, the next 10 I will do another video on just to visit it and see how it's doing. 